First half last night, Norwich City's involvement in Europe hung very much in the balance thanks to that early goal from Bayern. Adolfo Valencia, the scorer, after Rob Newman's header, had hit one of his own teammates. And then Brian Gunn, who denied Bayern in the first leg at the Olympic Stadium, had to be at his best once again to stop Bayern going two up and taking the lead on aggregate. Gunn was named man of the match afterwards for his heroics but it was another man who found his name in the headlines, a man who's found a happy knack of scoring goals at vital times. Jeremy Goss on target after 51 minutes with his third European goal. It was enough to make it one all on the night, and after that, Bayern did little to threaten Norwich's 3-2 aggregate lead. That's what we've got going for us is now, a great team spirit. Um, the god of Norwich, Jerry Goss, scored our, scored, scored our goal again. Um, he's fast becoming a, a local hero, um, you know, a national hero, really. Goss was certainly the hero of the hour at Carrow Road last night, but even amid the mayhem, he found his biggest fan, his mother Joy. Oh, can't describe it, can't describe it. It's fantastic, isn't it? Just give my mum the biggest hug in the world there. They're all good, but this is something special, isn't it? What did it feel like when the ball went in the net? <gasps> I can't tell you. I was praying for the time to go after that. It didn't matter who got it, did it, really? It always seems to be your son these days, though. I don't know how. It's a lot of patience, but he's done it. We're very proud of him. Norwich triumph, Goss's glory, read all about it, only 34 pence. Or to put it another way, die Bayern sind raus. Die Kanarien Virgil sind nicht mehr einzufangen. Schade Bayern, kein Glück mit Franz. Whatever way you looked at it, Norwich were through to round three. And on the streets today, plenty of reminders of a night to savour. And confidence, needless to say, is at an all-time high. We thought they were struggling at the first yeah. because the Reds took over. But after the second half, it's quite good. We're all feeling very effusive, very full of ourselves. One can only hope that our next game will also be crowned, a wreathed with victory. This isn't sunk in yet. It's going to take a long while and a few beers. <laughs> but don't let's get too carried away by Mike Walker's men. There remain one or two harsh critics. <laughs> Well, he's in danger of becoming a legend in his own life, so I'm really gossy like at the moment. <laughs> That's it. I mean, it's, it's hard work by the players. You know, I mean, we, we put a few schemes together and we get the tactics right, hopefully, and, and the boys go out. And, I mean, it's all credit to the players. You know, we, we can't have an influence once they're out there. And it's great. I mean, it's, it's tremendous watching that little bit of clip there and seeing the, the fans. I mean, that's that's what it's all about as well, making them, you know, happy and going around. And we're enjoying it. We're part of that. And hopefully they feel part of us. The chairman says you can go all the way and win it. You've beaten Bayern Munich. That's a fact, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it is possible, but you know we're taking one, you know, the old cliche, one mm. game at a time, and we'll, we'll, you know, we'll see. We're happy with what we've done so far. There are some mighty teams left in it: Juventus, Frankfurt, Inter Milan. Who do you fancy? Yeah, any of them, any of them. You know, we've done well, as I said. We, you know, we in cup games you take what you get, but um, it'd be nice to draw one of the big ones like Juventus or Inter Milan. How do that. you how do you beat what you've done? How do you follow that? Well, you just keep going. I mean, that is difficult, but um, as I said, if you happen to draw Juventus or Inter Milan or one of the big clubs, then you've got to do it all over again. So, it, you know, you've got to get your feet back on the ground and uh, try and emulate the same thing, and it's very difficult, but um, we're pleased, obviously, with how it's going. And just one final word. The players did it, you've done it, but again, the supporters, both sets of supporters, have done football proud. Yeah, I mean, tremendous. I mean, as I said, there's the support away from home was brilliant for us, and at home it was, well, it was even better, and that, that obviously helped the players. Mike, brilliant. Well done. Best of luck in the next round. Thank you. It's big buzz, it's big buzz in the city. And, you know, everyone's enjoying the atmosphere, you know, it's, it's going to be a great night, a really great night. Norwich City played very well in Munich, but Norwich City is not so good at home, so we will win 3-1 here. They've both been known to score from these, it's turned in by Schupp. The header out wasn't certain, and Valencia got in, and Bayern Munich score. As this is Bowen. Chance for Sutton, and he's pulled it wide. Jorginho, oh, gun saves brilliantly, and the header goes wide. It's not very, oh, it's Ziga right through. Great save again by Gunn. Crop, though, will find Bowen. One over here, Sutton, goes, yes! You don't need to ask who scored it. Jeremy Goss. 
once more the hero of Norwich. Well, he played it so deep there, Matthias. He played them onside. Fox. 